Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very classic Katyavadi dish which is called as a Ringanan Olo, made from brinjal, also known as bengan. It's going to be um, smoked, which is essentially charred, remove the skin, I'm going to be chopping it up fine and then tossing it in a simple set of masalas. So without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make this classic Gujarati dish. So for roasting the brinjal on the flame, ensure that you place the brinjal over the flame and it has a stand to support it. So I have this stand which supports my brinjal and which is perfect. Otherwise, you could use another grill like a roti grill or anything like that to place the brinjal over it. Now you will have to roast the brinjal until it becomes completely charred and when you press it inside it should be completely cooked. It will take about four to five minutes and let's just wait for that. Ensure that while it is uh, uh, cooking on the flame and it's getting charred on the flame just keep turning it uh, in between every uh, a minute or two so that it gets charred evenly on all the sides. Notice that uh, halfway through the brinjal is getting charred and this is exactly how it will be. The skin will start crackling but it's not completely done because when I press it from the inside it's still a little firm and needs to get charred completely so we'll just wait for that another three to four minutes and we'll be done. So now this looks perfectly cooked now notice that all the skin has charred and crackled and when you just press this right inside it should just go through beautifully and it should feel soft and cooked and that's exactly how you want it to be. So this is done. Now I'm going to remove it from the flame and keep it uh, on a plate and allow it to cool down. And then we'll proceed to make our barta. All right, so I've charred both my uh, bangans rena and I'm I've allowed it to cool and I'm ready to peel the skin off and then we're gonna chop it fine. Okay, so just peel off the skin. And uh, once you're done peeling the skin, uh, we'll clean up the bangan a little bit and then we'll give it a, a mince it finely. So I'm going to go ahead and chop off the stem and we will finely mince up the bangan until it's uh, finely chopped, okay? So that's it. Now that this is done, I'm ready to uh, put the Ringanano Olo together in a pan. So now I have my pan that's preheated. To this, I'm going to add ghee. Yes, you can add mustard oil or ghee. Both of them work very well. And to this, of course, I'm going to go ahead and add in my onions, garlic, ginger. I'm going to add the green chilies. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the spices, which is the bay leaves and the cinnamon stick. I'm going to saute the onions until they become soft. Uh, you don't have to wait for them to get caramelized, just soft and change its color. About um, a minute or two on medium heat. Notice that the onions have changed color. At this stage, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my tomatoes. And I'm going to add in all the remaining masalas and spices and allow the tomatoes to cook really well until they become soft and mushy. And I'm going to share a tip of how you can do that beautifully without adding too much oil. So first, I'm going to add in my turmeric, coriander powder, some cumin, and they popularly call it as a dana jeera powder, but I like to use them separately and because that's how I like to understand my ingredients, some red chili powder uh, to taste because uh, depending upon how spicy your, you want your ring nano olo to be, these green chilies are spicy enough. Right, so I'm going to now just cover the pan. When you cover the pan, the tomatoes will develop steam and they will become soft faster. So you don't have to add that excess oil or uh, ghee. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and cover the pan and allow the tomatoes to soften and become mushy. So after a few minutes of uh, simmering, notice the tomatoes have softened and you just press it down and it'll just mash up. And that's the beauty of uh, covering the tomatoes and then bunawing your masala with less oil. Okay, and uh, I don't believe in sort of uh, releasing the oil from the sides and then cooking it because that's not healthy. Great, so now I'm ready to add in our chopped uh, smoked brinjal, charred brinjal, right? And which is haringana. We'll add that in, that's perfect. I'm going to add in the salt at this stage. And just another 
a little bit of ghee on the top to give it that additional taste. So this is perfect. Now I'm going to uh, saute this into the tomato uh, masala and for about three to four minutes and I'm going to cover the pan and cook it as well so that all the flavors get beautifully incorporated. So let's just wait for that. So let's just give it a stir and ensure that the ring nano olo becomes well combined. We'll just cover the pan and now simmer for about three to four minutes and we'll be done. So it's been about three to four minutes, ready to open the pan and garnish it with some chopped coriander leaves. Of course, give it a taste and I'm going to do just that and check if you need any salt or chili or spices. A lot of um, uh, Gujaratis, uh, Katiawadis also add uh, dahi to this, like about a tablespoon or two of dahi to give it that sourness. Um, and that's another way of doing it as well. But I like to just leave it just like that because this is how we like it. So this is perfect. I'm going to give it a taste and I'll be ready to serve this. So I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe of how to make Ringanu Olu, a classic Katiawadi dish from Gujarat. You can serve it along with some kadi and bakri or even thepla and kadi for that matter. And sometimes even a full cow smeared with ghee will go well along with this dish. So do give this recipe a try and when you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below. Take a snapshot of it and tag us across all your social channels and I would love to hear from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.